Hey, what's up guys? Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about advice I'm going to give to guys who want to go on the steroid cycle of things and it all comes down to the, I'll tell you a bit of a story that just happened recently, which is an old friend of mine, David, who I've known for 20 plus years, uh, he saw the development that I've had, okay, like I'm posting to social media, I was doing pec flies that were like 300 pound pec flies for five reps and he's like, okay, like Mark, like what, tell me like, I need advice, like, how, how do you get big, right, and so I told, told him a workout advice, which I'll, I'll explain in a bit, but as well, he inquired about the steroid usage that he, he thought that I was on, and sure enough, I told him everything about that as well, okay, so I'm going to tell you exactly, if you're in getting into working out, okay, how to do it properly, the, the right, especially his age, which is around 30, Six to thirty-eight years old, and as you know, you're you're he's a very small guy, but he's very low body fat, a very thin guy, but he wants to put on size. So I told him exactly how to do it, and I will explain to you exactly how to do it. And anybody who's watching who has experience, I'd love your feedback as well on this on, on my advice. Okay. So first of all, it comes down to um, the, you have to create some type of workout routine. Okay, so common sense, yes. So what I recommend is a push, pull, leg, split day. Incorporating arm days in there as well. Okay, but so the key is on a push day, it's going to be incline press, pec flies, shoulder press, and tricep extensions, uh, each one of those, I'll say five sets, okay? The tricep extensions, you can do different variations, but we'll start with the basic ones down, okay? So that's five sets, and the weight you want to pick is one that you can do 10 to 13 times, okay? So say you put 60 pounds on there, you can do that 13 times, no problem. You can even go more, well, then you should probably put another 20 pounds on that, okay? And then start with that, and then you can always bring the weight down. If you if like you're having trouble with by the fifth set doing that much weight, then obviously you can bring the weight down a bit. Okay, so that's the push day. A pull day would would be um, assisted pull ups or, or <coughs> pull downs. I would prefer assisted pull ups, which is the pull up machine where you put your knees on on something that you can put weight on that helps push you up a bit, so you can add. 40 to 80 pounds on that and again find that weight where you can do that 10 to 13 times do that for five sets next do some type of row movement rowing machine uh row you know specifically like a machine where you can put the stack you put a pin in that and find that weight where you can do that 13 times do that five sets next uh, reverse flies. Uh, so before it's pec flies, right? Well, reverse flies where you go the opposite direction, you're going this way. Okay? That works the back, your uh, rear delts and everything. Do that. That's a very great one because the rear delts will make you uh, a lot stronger and, and bigger size. Okay? Put, this is all about putting on size. And as well, you can do shrugs on, as well. Maybe, maybe you don't need to do five sets of those, some of these, but like, you know, at the same time, you know, it, it adds up in the end, okay? If you can do that 13 times, like 13 reps for five sets, you'll be great. And then finish it off with bicep curls, five sets, 15 reps each, okay? 13, ideally. Okay, the leg day, deadlift, uh, leg extensions, and leg curls. Now, I, with deadlift, I can interchange with squats, and squats would be a great other option, but I'm gonna go with deadlift for the, the sheer fact that it's put about all about putting on size and deadlift works more than just the legs it works like your back and everything else so that's why I'm we're starting with this for three months okay you get on this plan for the push pull leg break again and then get back into that for three months straight whilst doing creatine in amino, some amino acid blend uh, I, I take scoop uh, every day of that okay. 
and uh, you get that done for three months. If somebody's able to commit to that for three months, then I would, at the very start, at least very consider getting them on any type of um, hormone, okay? Because I want to see that level of commitment. Three months is a great commitment. If they're able to do that, and you'll, they'll see major gains doing that. And the other thing I also uh, told them was that you need to uh, up, increase the uptake of calories, specifically protein. Okay? Eating clean. I know he eats well, but he probably doesn't eat enough. So he needs to eat more uh, clean food that's high in protein, high in calorie, more higher calories. Because again, this guy's a bit of a small guy. If, if if it's all about losing weight, then then I would, you know, if the guy's already like 250 pounds, then it would be a whole other story. But this, he's 150 pounds. Okay, not even maybe. So, <clears throat> so increase the calories whilst working out. And then getting into the steroid side of things because he's 38 years old is um, starting with uh, 150 testosterone and about two IUs of growth hormone. Two, two IUs of growth hormone a day, 150 uh, testosterone a week. That's where you start for one to two months. Then you increase the amount of testosterone to 200, and you increase the amount of growth hormone to uh, four IUs a day. Uh, that they could that's an HRT, they could very well just continue doing that, it would be totally fine. Now, I haven't gone to this far in, in his recommendation as of yet, but this is in the future of what I would, rec would recommend if he, was, if he was already getting the routine down, which is creating the habit of going to the gym and uh, being, you know, bulking up by that point. Well, he wants to fast track this, and this is what this is all about is if he's truly committed, fast track, then he can add in the HRT. And then the next level of things, if he commits to that and he's doing well, after a month or two of doing that, the 200 tests and um, four IUs a day, 200 tests a week, is um, then adding in something like Mastron at about 150 of that a week. So, and it's that simple. And then that could totally be it from there. And maybe he'll, he'll at times back off taking Mastron. Maybe it'll go down every three months. Like that will be his blast per se. It would be 200 tests and 150 Mastron before I, before I use the growth. And then maybe his cruise would be 150. Like seriously, it's not, it's not like it's a huge blast or anything. But if he's continuing on that push, pull, leg, split that I'm telling. And then based on the amount of strength that he's gaining while he's doing that again so like say his bench press like he was able to bench 120 pounds 13 times but now he can bench 120 30 pounds like 20 times well obviously you need to increase the weight right and in doing so finding that right weight where you can where you're at where you can do 10 to 13 reps of it 13 at most, that's going to be, you're going to find that sweet spot of where you're going to get both hypertrophy and strength growth. Now, at that time, we're, I would say, around the five to six month range, again, incorporating arm days now, very much so, every week. Not every week, maybe every week, every other week, arm day, I would say, is that you also then increase um, the rep rep range and strength to where you can find the weight where you can only do five times because by this time you've conditioned the muscles where you can actually grow strength now every set's not going to be a strength set but you throw a few of them in there like maybe you do that uh, like say bench press for example uh, three sets at 13 reps that 13 rep range that you're at well then at the fourth set throw another 50 pounds on that and hit it five times. And that's gonna increase muscle recruitment and, uh, and strength. 
and uh, when in doing so within that five to six month range then you'll blast through the plateaus that you're going to get from you're going to get an early acceleration and you start going like this and then you're going to go like this again once you increase strength more and then when you increase strength you're able to do more reps you're able to do more, more reps more hypertrophy more hypertrophy more muscle growth on top of the great diet you have and the hormones you're doing at that time as well so that's my um lesson on fast tracking how to become big in your late 30s slash 40s that's probably what i'm going to uh, name this video and uh, what are your guys thoughts on that you know some people might say you know you wouldn't recommend doing uh, hormones per se if somebody that early like within a few months and i agree but if if i saw that he was really committed to it then um, that's what it all comes down to, the level of commitment. Whether he's going to go to the next level. If he's going to go to the next level and that's part of his goals, then I don't see why the goals would not include taking steroids at that point in time. At least an HRT dose. You know, not necessarily a huge blast. He's not doing a gram a week, right? But, you know, incre increasing it to where it gets around 300 to 400 milligrams of uh, compounds plus the, the human growth hormone. And by that six month, then the human growth hormone and everything will catch up. Like that's when it really starts kicking in. You'll notice those effects and everything will just all come together. And by the six month mark, I think that would be the next level where it's gonna be like we can, you know, determine what the next steps will be from there. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Leave in the comments section below. Like always, peace.